Hey everyone, Jamie RDLD with you again. Do I ever have a cheat meal is the question of the day. Now, do I always eat exactly what I should eat, what my body needs? No, I'll go off a little bit. However, I don't overindulge anymore. Um, as I get older, I just don't recover from it. My body doesn't handle it as well. Um, but the reason I don't have cheat meals per se, uh, usually those are high carbohydrate or high sugar uh, for many of us, but it's due to the glucose response. It's due to what I've learned about glucose responses within the body, even short-term glucose responses. Um, why? Well, because studies indicate that higher blood glucose variabilities or high peaks, quick peaks, are associated with increased risk of things like cardiovascular disease, Alzheimer's, frailty, cancer death, compared to lower blood glucose variability, meaning maybe your blood glucose stays within this range instead of having a peak that sends it off the charts. Um, other human studies show that higher peak glucose versus lower peak glucose may accelerate the development of atherosclerosis, even in those that have normal glucose tolerance, meaning those that are not pre-diabetic, those that do not have diabetes. So what does this all mean? It means that no longer from this point on should you be eating that whole box of frosted mini wheats, no matter how good they may be. So until next time, eat with a purpose and give your body what it needs when it needs it.